it's a, it's a Remo. I think at one point Remo was making drums, full drum sets. I think I wound up picking up this snare drum uh, at one point, probably in the, this is probably going back to the late 80s. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, where is it? Right there. I don't know if you can read that. It says acoustic, acoustic tron, acoustic tron. So uh, this material inside here, from what I remember, is made of a material that they used um, on the space shuttle. That's how they marketed uh, the drum. I'm not sure what happened. I, I guess I don't know. They fell off the map making drums I guess you know when you make when you make the best drum heads that you really should just stick to one thing and I gotta show you this design uh, these lugs were meant to support I'm gonna show you how this is set up uh, you see at the end of the uh, tension rods there were these tubes that Slid into a, and these tubes would slide into the uh, into the lug. So the idea was the idea was to uh, and you know I guess Remo had in his mind again changing heads drum heads. Uh, if your drum head broke. What you would do is you would uh, pull on the lugs and open it, and the uh, the rim would the uh, the hoop would come off, and then you were able to uh, just change the heads, take the old head off or the broken head off, put the new head back on. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And of course. Uh, it would all stay together in one kind of piece and then you would just drop the hoop back on like so and then snap it back on but uh, you know I guess I don't know I don't like the design honestly I don't I don't like the design I'd rather deal with uh, I'd rather deal with just uh, you know taking the hoop off this was not a good design uh, and it kind of flopped. For me, I didn't. I didn't like it. It worked. I used it a couple of times. I remember back when uh, I was younger. I was a kid at the time when I bought this. Uh, I'm also missing the throw right there. I'm gonna have to find something that's what is that? An inch and a half, two inches probably. Anyway, I picked up these uh, these simple. You know, taking a look. Okay, so I uh, I finally got the the lugs onto the snare drum. Uh, these are Ludwig, actually. Uh, the problem I had with these, and there's always a problem. So whenever you start doing this kind of stuff, uh, swapping parts, uh, there's no uh, standard like uh, you, these screws that I got with these Ludwig uh, um, lugs. They were just too short. And I don't know why they sent them. They were way too short. There was no way they were going to fit from the inside of the drum and attach to the inside of this lug. They just, I don't know why they did that. So what I had to do is go to the uh, the hardware store. So I bring the lug with me, just one of them. And I went in there and they were not an American standard. They were a foreign type of, of a screw. Uh, so they were metric. But I got... Um, I made sure I got one long enough and the same uh, fit for the for the screw inside of uh, for the nut and screw inside of the lug. So that worked out. So that worked out, and I got them on here. Now the other thing that I had to order was the throw. This is the Gibraltar throw, and apparently in the ad, this would fit on most snare drums. So it is a standard size, and uh, I already checked the 
don't know if you can see this the two holes here for the throw to attach the throw there's two holes here and this will definitely fit I measured it and it will go it will work okay but the problem again the screw the screw that they sent uh, will not fit in the hole on in the drum <laughs> so um now, uh, I thought I would do this within an hour or so and be done with it, but it's been uh, it's been like two hours already between going to the hardware store and now, and now this. So, what I have to do now is drill. Mm, that's power. Okay, so here we go. Into the hole. Hope nothing blows up. Make the holes the size that I need it here. You can see them here, and you can see the screw fits right in there. So, now, the task is now to attach the, uh, the throw. And this throw's a little, it's a little stiff. It's okay, I'm just grease it up a little bit, it'll be fine. So, let's unscrew this again um, you know I could have taken this to a shop and had them do it but uh, you know uh, they would have charged me for parts and then the labor to do that uh, and when I looked at what need uh, when I looked at what needed to be done I figured I, I can do it or at least I can try and I didn't spend that much money you know the uh, the lugs were on these lugs were were only like twenty dollars for uh, I got eight lugs for 20, 20 bucks, and the throw was another twenty dollars. So for forty bucks, um, you know, it's a uh, you know it's worth it. Plus, you know, doing stuff, doing stuff on your own, you you get you know you learn it, and there's more of a what do you say a gratification from it. So this drum sounds now without the bottom. It sounds like a, it looks like a timbali and sounds like one. I'll probably use it for that. If uh, I can't put it. Well, the other thing is now, uh, with the wires, you know how you get the, uh, those plastic strippy things? I don't, I don't particularly like them unless I have, I, I have no choice. But I picked up this uh, this thread. It's like waxed thread. I like the string better because, you know, back in the uh, in the old days, like the eighties, uh, they didn't use the plat. They had the string, and that's what those other holes, of, these holes, are for. It's for string, and I think they, I think the string just sounds better because it it pulls on the. Uh, you see where you would place the uh, the plastic strip is in the middle, and it pulls on the middle where the holes. Well, the strings are further to the left and right sides, and I think it pulls it up in a different way. Uh, I think it sounds better. Strictly my opinion. But uh, what I'm gonna do, first off, I gotta make sure that I'm putting it on precisely the right way. Um, and the screws are gonna have to go from underneath, so. All right, the throw is on. Just gotta grease it up a little bit. Very stiff. Wow, can't even, can barely turn it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to put a little uh, three in one. Some oil or that DW stuff to spray, loosen up, loosen these parts up. There we go. Just want to get it opened. Right, it's really strong. And uh, you can see where it's pulling on the side instead of the middle. And so we're ready to take it to a... Uh... I haven't tuned the drum really. I, haven't I just put the... Uh... Let me just uh, do it do what the, I mean, you know what, just look at the drum, you don't want to look at me anyway, so, let's see if you can get the drum on you, so, uh, looks good, I just gotta, let me get this drumstick, 
And, uh... Alright. I think I'm a little tuning it sounds just... Throw. Come on. I tightened it up. Okay. It's not bad. I like it. I'm so glad. Once this drum is tuned up precisely, because I didn't, I did nothing to tune this. Drum. I just tightened the heads up, and it sounds pretty good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I am ecstatic. I got another snare drum. What I like about this drum, is it's very light. This material that was used here. Thank you, Remo. Thank you, Remo, for making this drum. You know, I'm sorry that your drum line didn't work out, but this is a good drum. And it's, I love it that it doesn't weigh that much. I think this drum is even heavier. Yeah, this smaller, this is a 12-inch snare drum, a Mapex that I love. This is my other baby. Uh, but this drum is so, so light, which is great, especially when you get older like me. You don't want to be schlepping, you know, the heavy stuff. So. Let's get a rim shot going. So glad right now. I'm so glad that I took the time to uh, to take this drum uh, from my mother's home, which had been sitting there for years and years, and uh, and just work on it. And I, you know what? Two hours and forty dollars later, I got a I got a really I got a quality drum. I'm gonna take the Remo snare drum for a test drive. Take the, uh, get the wallet. Take that. Uh, the wallet back on, you get a. This concludes the Remo presentation snare drum. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>